Hello everyone. In the previous session, we have learned about the FAOL's 14 principles of management. Now, in this session, we will discuss Taylor's scientific principles of management. Taylor, who is known as the father of scientific management, has given four scientific principles of management. So, we'll start with the first principle, which is science, not rule of thumb. Now, what is science? Science is something where principles are derived from observation and experimentation. Management is also a science as management principles are also derived from observation and experimentation. Now, what does rule of thumb here means? See, here management is also a science, but it is not rule of thumb, which means it is not as rigid as scientific principles. Scientific principles are rigid, but management principle changes according to the time. So the management principle is not rule of thumb. In the context of management, it is also means dictatorship of manager. Now, according to this principle, Taylor insists that each job performed in the organization should be based on scientific inquiry and not an intuition. Which means the manager should not get stuck in a set routine with the old technique of doing work Rather, for better result, they should constantly experimenting to develop new techniques. And that technique should be based on scientific inquiry. Now, according to this principle, there are two methods of doing any job. Traditional method and modern method. For example, advertisement can be done by traditional method and modern method. Traditional method may include offline method, modern method may include online method. So advertisement can be done offline through pamphlet, brochures, posters, etc. And how it can be done through online? By FB, YouTube, social media, etc. So we will see the positive and negative of both the method and will select the best solution. Okay, you don't have to be rigid. You have to select the one best way of doing the job scientifically. And also, there must be thinking before doing, which means you should identify the problem, find out the alternative solution and select the best possible solution to the problem. So according to Taylor, there is only one best method to maximize the efficiency and this method can be developed through work, study and analysis. And the methods to develop should be substitution of rule of thumb. For example, in rule of thumb, the standard time required to do a particular job is decided by the manager on the basis of his past experience. But Taylor insists that standard time for a job should be set up scientifically by performing time study in the organization. Next principle is harmony, not discord. Now, what is harmony? Harmony means proper and mutual understanding and discord means conflict. So, according to this principle, those who work together in an organization must work in harmony that is with mutual give and take and proper understanding. Generally, in every organization, there are two groups of people. First is worker group. Second is management group. So, worker group feels that they are underpaid and overburdened and management group feels that the workers are good for nothing which means both the group both the group work as rivals of each other rivals mean they work as a competitor of each other so according to taylor there is a need for both the groups to change their attitudes and outlook for each other which means they must develop positive thinking for each other as their objectives are in one direction. Taylor also insisted on mental revolution. Mental revolution is complete change of attitude and outlook for each other. That means subordinate will show its best potential only when he receives the best guidance from manager and the manager will lead to success only if he gets support from the back end of subordinate. So the management must understand they are nothing without employees and employees must understand that they are nothing without management. For example, in Japanese companies, 
the manager treat workers as part of their family and the workers do not show their protest by going on strike rather than they tie a black ribbon to show their dissatisfaction and gain sympathy of managers so the management must work almost side by side with the workers helping and encouraging them so that the workers can contribute to their best level so the next principle is cooperation not individualism this principle is basically the extension of harmony not discord which we have discussed earlier so according to this principle work must be carried on in cooperation with each other with mutual confidence and understanding which means the workers and the manager must work in cooperation and to have such cooperation management should welcome the good suggestion of the worker so before setting up the standard task for the worker the management must take worker in confidence because when the targets are set up in consultation of workers then they will try their best to achieve it also there should be equal division of work and responsibility between the worker and management and the management should work side by side to encourage and help the employee for example while assigning a job to workers if the management asks them about their interest and then work is assigned according to their interest definitely the workers will perform it more efficiently and the last principle is development of workers to their greatest efficiency and prosperity so according to this principle industrial efficiency depends on workers efficiency workers efficiency depends on proper training and their selection so taylor insisted that care should be taken while selecting the employees and after selecting they must be given the job according to their qualification and also the employees must be sent for training from time to time to update their knowledge all this will ensure the greatest efficiency and prosperity for both the company and the worker so in this session we have learned all the four taylor scientific principles of management we will next discuss the scientific techniques of taylor in the next session so that's all for today thank you